Yo, yo, yo. It is a beautiful day here in Nanaimo, BC. I was just driving by the dollar store here and I thought, you know what? We could do, that'd be a lot of fun. Would be a, a little challenge video of seeing what fly we could tie up with just stuff from the dollar store. So I think I'm gonna stop in here at the local dollar store and go see what they got and then uh, see what type of fly we can tie up and go fish with it. So that being said, let's just get to it. Right off the bat here we got some feathers. I think we're gonna go with one of these guys. We got a bunch of decorative feathers. And that could be like marabou. We'll try some of those. Ah, should we try some of those? Why not, right? Goose feathers. That's what we got. Tons of beads. I don't know what we should go with for beads. I'm like a huge selection. Well, I like these ones right there. I think that's what we're gonna go with. There goes. Those are cool looking. We got wire. What's that gonna run us? Yeah. Buck 69. Sweet. We actually got all this embroidery floss and stuff too. Use it as like Chanel or dubbing to make different colored bodies. I was gonna use this peacock curl, but well, maybe we should try some of that too, eh? This one's got a couple natural colors in it, and then a bunch of fancy ones too, or you can just go straight natural. This one's got black in it though. I think we should go for the one that's got black. I actually looked behind these ones, and I found these brown ones that I think we could actually use for like a soft tackle, so we're gonna try those too. Yeah, and I found those hooks, 50 of them. I'm not. Ideal. I might end up using hooks that I already have at home, but we're gonna try this out. And right now, I'm just trying to find some flash. It's like you know that might work. This right here. I think I'm gonna go with this stuff. It's uh, kind of taut and less flexible, but I think we could cut it in half into little strips. It might work good. Right, so I got the bag of goodies. I think we ended up spending 29.75. The only thing I didn't grab from there was thread because I already got a bunch of thread. So. We'll just use the thread I got at home. I'm sure I could have picked some up there for cheap and it probably would have worked great. You know, I probably should have for the challenge, but I did end up using the hooks from there. But I mean, we got a ton of stuff here to make a bunch of different flies and I'm kind of excited. I actually use this one here. It's actually got like, just let me flip this. It's actually got some like hackly looking feathers. So we might even be able to do like a woolly bugger out of that. That's some top quality stuff. and. Then when you're in there, I asked him to have a good video. He had no problem with that. We got some like soft hair hackle looking feathers, some marabou looking feathers. So I'm pretty excited. I think we're going to end up going with a woolly bugger and then taking it to the lake. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the hooks are going to be funny and the beads are funny because they're all glass beads. So hopefully I don't break those on anything. But I know as far as definitely fishing in a lake off of a boat or something, they work great. I do fish with glass beads. They, they look really nice. All right. So I'm back home. And uh, I thought we'd go a little more in-depth into everything that we got here. So first we got this uh, <laughs> Cascade centerpiece. I'm going to use that because I wanted something flashy. And uh, I think this is going to work good. I'm going to cut it into little strips and try to use that as flash. Or another thing I might do is I might tie it up the body and then uh, use the wire and the hackle over top of it and just have the side of the body kind of flashy. So... That's kind of cool. We got all of these brown feathers. Um, obviously, I didn't need this many for what we're doing, but especially if you're just starting out, that's a that's a good little supply. And it looks like there's a lot in here I could use as soft tackles because I'm probably gonna try. Now I thought about it, I'll try like a woolly bugger, and then I'll tie like some sort of nymph pattern, so a streamer and a nymph pattern, and I'll take them both out and we'll try them out. Um, so yeah, those are cool. And this is the cool one. We got. All sorts of colors. There's no orange in here, which I was kind of hoping for, but I think we're going to use the pink then, or the red. And we got like some soft hackly looking feathers in there. We got some longer hackles in there, which I'm going to use on the streamers. We got some marabou. That's actually all I was going for was the marabou when I saw it. But there we go. We got a lot variety there. 
Uh, for a buck sixty-nine, even for my own collection, that's not bad. I could use this. That's peacock feathers. I'm probably going to use the hurl feathers there. We also have some of the cool eye feathers in here, though. That could actually be some flash I could put on as well. Um, this is going to be great for nymphs. I was going to use it for body material, but then I picked up the thread too, so maybe we'll do both. But that's uh, three bucks. This is all Canadian pricing too, and uh, that's actually a decent amount, so I'm glad I picked that up. We got some wire here. We got brown, kind of like a teal blue like some fuchsia purple and pink and just copper that's a buck 69 i bought these goose feathers i might use these for like tail fibers or something for the nymph but those brown ones are pretty good too uh they'll work for wings it's january and everything's frozen so i'm probably not going to do dry flies maybe i don't know i don't think so though my yarn or floss i'm gonna use that as body material <laughs> these are our hooks there's not much variation in size, and uh, I think they're actually like bait hooks, but we're going to try them out. And if I can't do a nymph on these, I think... No, we're using these. It's part of the challenge. Those are our hooks. We paid $2 for 50 pieces. We got two types of beads here. These big glass beads and these small silver ones. The only thing that I kind of found about these silver ones, which I noticed, is uh, the hole. Come on here. Oh, now we're shaking. There we go. The hole is the same size all the way through, so it might try and fall over the eye of the hook, but we can always build up a little thread dam or something. You know, these don't have to be the prettiest flies. It's with all that being said, I'm going to move my vise up. I'm going to get my camera stand out, and we're going to see what we can tie up here. Let's freaking get it. All right, so I took the biggest hook out of the pack, and I put a bead on it. <laughs> they kind of bend down. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to try straighten that out real quick. Oh, that's a soft hook. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So I'm just going to put a thread base on there and start after that. All right, I picked out this guy here for my tail. There's a lot of variety in there. I'm surprised. Um, this guy's going to be my tail, so we're going to measure it up. We're going to make it the same length as the body here. But right there, we don't want short strikes. So right there is good. So I got this thing. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise and try to put a strip of flash on each side so i'll get back to you when i do that i'm gonna get some of the copper wire i'm gonna tie that in we're gonna put on our red floss and then we're gonna put our flash on We're going to bring our thread all the way up. We're going to wrap this. I think I made this a little bit tricky on myself. We're going to make it work, though. And then next we're going to grab this flash and we're going to put that up the side. Ideally I could have just tied it the front, ran it back and secured it with the wire, but this is going to work. Alright, and then we got our one white hackle. So, it's not very long. I'm almost wondering if I should just do a collar but I think I'm gonna try wrap to the back if that doesn't work we'll just do a collar it might not be long enough I normally would say it's not long enough but we're gonna try it there we go we caught it and then we'll take those guys off <laughs> Sackle is totally the wrong size for this, but that's okay. All 
I'm going to tie this guy off up here. I think I might actually try and put a little red collar on this guy now. All right, there is our dollar store streamer. Now we just got to try to catch a fish on it. What do we think? Let me know down in the comments. I think it's a little rough, but I think it's going to fish. There we go. All right, for next fly here, I am going to do a nymph. I already got this one playing in my head. This is going to work good. So we're just going to... Get our thread on there. This guy's gonna be a little quicker to tie too. We got that silver bead on there. It doesn't quite fall over the head, so that's good. I'm gonna get our brown feather here. We're gonna strip off some fibers here. And there's our tail. It's a bit more than I'd like, about half of that. There we go. Tie that in there, about right there, I'd say. I'm going to grab the copper wire, put a slab of that on there. We got a couple pieces of peacock curl here that I stripped off the feather. We're going to tie those in. We're going to tie right to the front, make a body with them, and then wrap the wire over top. All right, then I got one of those brown, soft, hackle-looking feathers. It's probably like a hen hackle or something like that. We're just going to tie this guy in and make a collar for this guy. Look at that, that's not bad. That's that's a fish catcher right there, right on. Let's go get him. You can see we got our willy bugger on there. Let's see this thing in the water. That looks good, we're gonna catch fish on that. I'm just gonna try. Casting over that slack water and bring it up here a couple times. That doesn't work. We're gonna head down there. What type of under the bridge monster can we get here? Then swing it down, let it swing across. Then we're just gonna strip it up. I'm using a little two weight rod here, so anything we catch in here is gonna be fun. All right, we're going to move farther down the stream here. All right, here you are. Bug chuckers and fluff washers. Nutty day on the creek. And you know what? I fished that streamer hard. Uh, I got a whole bunch of footage I'm not even going to use, but I just could not get a take on it. Uh, I think it's just, it's being called, it's being flooded, but today, as you can see, it's really nice. I'm going to chuck on that nymph and uh, we're going to give that a go. And I'm feeling hopeful. I think today is going to be the day that we catch fish on the dollar store fly. So I'm actually going to start right behind me. So I'll pop this on my head, get the rod set up. I'm just going to use an indicator, the nymph, a little splitty to get it down in this fast water. 
Let's give her a go. Oh, it's icy. Oh, there's <laughs> one dipping canoe. Oh, it's dirty. I really hope I don't get this snack because <laughs> it's the only nymph I died out of it. Windy today too. They like hiding right up against that wall. Oh, that was bottom. Gotta be careful. Okay, we got one. We got one on the dollar store fly. Let's get another one. go. We got another one. Get our hand wet here. Oh, oh man, that is one skinny little cutthroat. There we go. Get one hooked here. That's a little thing. Back you go. That was it. Dollar store fishing fly right there. Came unraveled. That guy got him a little bit. Why do you know? Alright, so. Alright, so. Back of the truck. Uh, we got two fish today on the dollar store flies. Uh, well, fly. We didn't get anything on the streamer. But uh, we got two on the nymph. You know, fishing's just starting to pick up. It's been warmer the last couple days, but that was a blast. I'm definitely gonna be doing more videos like this. Um, too bad we didn't get any on the streamer. And you know, sorry that the actual fishy parts, <laughs> the footage wasn't wasn't a 10, but I don't know. It's kind of hard by yourself sometimes. And then that second fish, I had that kid with the dog coming up to me. I'm Jesus Christ, what are you doing behind me? But. <laughs> It'll get there. I'm definitely gonna do more of these as I said, so you know, drop me a comment if uh, if you liked it or what you'd like to see. And you know, even just give me a thumbs up. Uh, you can always subscribe, but you know, if you don't wanna subscribe, that's just fine. You can just enjoy the videos and uh, that's no problem. I just enjoy making them. It's fun, it's sweet. Now, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I got, I got some ideas in my mind. I'm just not sure which one I'm gonna do yet, but. They're going to be sweet. You don't want to miss them. And, uh, yeah, for now, that's it. That's uh, fishing and tying up some flies from just the dollar store. And, yeah, that was awesome. So, we'll see you on the next video. See ya.